Hello guys, this is the current affairs session for 7 October 2019. Well, let's start. Japanese tennis player Naomi Osaka won the 2019 China Open title. And she defeated world number one Ashley Barty to win her second Women's Tennis Association the 2019 title. Okay. China is a country in East Asia officially known as People's Republic of China and is the world's most populous country with a population of around 1.404 billion in 2017. Its president is Xi Jinping, capital Beijing and currency renminbi. And Japan is, is an island country in East Asia located in Pacific Ocean and its capital the Tokyo and currency is Japanese yen. Okay, guys, if you like this lecture, if you think that this current affairs session is going to benefit you, then do subscribe my channel, like, and share with your friends. William Z. Kerlin Jr., Sir Peter Jr. Radcliffe, and Greg L. Simenja have been jointly awarded the 2019 Nobel Prize for Physiology. And this Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine is being awarded to them because of the discovery of how cells sense and adapt to oxygen. Do remember these names? William Z. Gallin, Sir Peter Jr. Red Clips, and Greg L. Simenza. Okay, this time Nobel Prize for Physiology and Medicine. And why? Because of their discovery, how cells sense and adapt to oxygen. Next. Austria's Christian Wolf won the title in 2019 Hero Women's Indian Ocean at the DLF Golf and Country Club course in Gurugram, Haryana. Austria's Christian Wolf. Okay. Next, Uttarakhand has launched Urzagiri campaign to stop power theft. The campaign name is Urzagiri and who launches Uttarakhand State Government. Next, the World Cotton Day is being organized by World Trade Organization on 7th October in collaboration with UN, FAO, FAO stands for Food and Agriculture Organization, UNCTD, that is United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, International Trade Center, and International Cotton Advisory Committee. What is the ob objective? The ob objective of the World Cotton Day is to provide exposure to cotton and its tech soldier. And World Trade Organization is an intergovernmental organization that is concerned with the regulation of international trade between nations. Its headquarter is at Geneva, Switzerland. Do remember this? Many times this question is asked about the headquarter of World Trade Organization. And 164 member states are there. And it was founded on 1st January 1995. Currently, head is Pascal Lemmy. And what was the purpose of this uh, WTO? Reduction of tariffs and other barrier to trade. So, WTO, World Trade Organization. Next, the union government has launched Prakash portal to monitor coal supply. Okay. Prakash portal to monitor the coal supply and in competitive examinations like you see net upsc and any state psc they do concern with these names particularly and who launched it okay broadcast portal being launched by union government for monitoring the coal supply next a welfare scheme ysar bahana mitra is launched by Andhra Pradesh. YSR Bahan Mitra is launched by Andhra Pradesh. Next, the Indian Air Force has approved a proposal to engrave the name of martyred squadron leader Ravi Khanna at the National War Memorial, New Delhi. Okay, so where is the National War Memorial of India? It's at New Delhi. World Habitat Day 
World Habitat Day is observed on 7 October 2019 and its aim is to reflect on the state of the towns and cities and the basic right of all to adequate shelter. And theme is very important. This time World Habitat Day, 7 October 2019, theme is Frontier Technologies as an Innovative Tool to Transform Waste into Wealth. Frontier Technologies as an Innovative Tool to Transform Waste into Wealth. Okay. Next. Indian Army is to hold Him Vijay exercise. Him Vijay exercise, the biggest ever mountain combat exercise in Arunachal Pradesh. Do you remember the name? Him Vijay Express exercise, and where it will be held? It is in Arunachal Pradesh, which is near to or bordering the country China. Okay, these are the selected uh, most important current affairs of today. Now coming to the questions of today from last class. Today's question is NASA has chosen fill in the blanks for an all female spacewalk. Option A Christina Koch, option B Jessica Meir, option C both A and B, option D none of the above. And do post your answer through comment. I'll give you the answer to the comments whether that will be correct or wrong and also I am giving the answer in the description and the topmost comment. Well then, see you tomorrow in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.